clad in red and in loud chants, hundreds of people took to the principal street of Kumasi to demand a load shared in timetable from the energy ministry and the electricity company of Ghana. Their major concern is that the current erratic or intermittent power cut is affecting their businesses. Some of them want the energy ministry and the ECD to immediately release a load shared in timetable. All we are asking Nanaku for is to give us power, that's all. Apart from that, there's nothing he can do for us. He should just give us power so we can go back onto our businesses and do whatever we want to do. That's all. So what we are telling Anaku Fado, the ECG, Gredco, and all the independent power producers, that is that we need power. We need power. Businesses are collapsing. We need power. Leader of the group, Jerry Jim Suka, while addressing the protesters, says President Akufuado has failed in the energy sector. He says the mismanagement of the sector has led to the current intermittent power cuts being experienced nationwide. The mismanagement of electrical power has resulted in frequent and prolonged power outages, commonly referred to as doom saw. These outages disrupt economic activities, leading to reduced productivity, and increase operational costs for businesses. And now, do some criteria first, no? Because here, first, said those not here. They are who go and be fast. So, they are the best. You ma, you must see a situation. Now, do, do ma now crash. A crash. A project that we are going to now assay. The thing they are saying, you better do light on this time. It is do what you must see. You ma, you must see. You better do me stop. No, say say you need. We need to say why you so hard drive. But the NDC has also been sharing some concerns. According to them, President Akufuado is failing to listen to the concerns of the ordinary Ghanaian, especially traders who depend on electricity to make sales. We are demanding that His Excellency Nana Adodakwa Akufuado, who is paid with my sweat, who is paid with my taxes, at least have some iota of respect for the people of Ghana and especially Ashantiman, and at least let us know when we will have light and when we will not have light. The energy minister told us that we should publish our timetable. So we are here to publish our timetable. We are here to tell them and serve notice that tomorrow we are taking the lights of Flagstaff House and we are giving those uh, shared energy to KJTR Market. We are taking the light of Baumier's house and we are giving it to Asawasa Market. We are taking that of Napo and we are giving it to Atonsu Market. And if they can survive the three days without light, then they will know and understand and appreciate the pain we are feeling that the Doomso is collapsing our work, is collapsing our businesses. These are traders and hundreds of people who joined the protest on the principal streets of Kumasi from Aloga to Amekom to demand a load setting timetable. With candles lighting up the streets of Kumasi, they want the ECG to immediately release a load setting timetable. For John News, my name is Nana Bwachi Dankwa Yabo, Kumasi.